Good morning, everyone. We are at the home stretch. Okay, so we've got our blue ultramarine and violet. So we're gonna kind of pick up where we stopped. So yesterday we did this was the blue. Yeah, I have to remember, right? This was the violet. And again, remember, I'm gonna hold my pencil kind of towards the back and just kind of gently. Kind of angle it to get the kind of the side i know it's hard well i guess it's not too too hard but you can kind of see right i'm just kind of nice going back and forth It's interesting too, just kind of looking at how much better I got, right? Like the coloring. Well, and it's kind of cool because if you think about it, I don't know, like if you think of this as like spiraling down, if I was like really, really talented, like that idea, like, because you kind of see, right? There's a gradient here, right? It gets kind of like darker, darker, lighter, 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 lighter. And then as we kind of go in, right? I think a professional could get pretty crazy with it okay so we're gonna put our violet now one of the things so as you saw how I started in the middle right what I'm gonna make sure though is I'm not gonna kind of color back up the chain right up this line that I'm on because that'll probably make it a little bit darker so I'm just going to kind of jump ship and you know but again kind of what I was just saying if you did want to make it kind of change the gradient of how kind of light and dark everything is you know, just gently kind of coloring over everything would kind of add a little to that. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to start at one end and work my way down because in truth, I actually like that better. And I'm going to just jump finish up our violet. And so, so close.
Boom. And we did it. And I guess that's the question, right? It's just, I guess that's, that is how we started, right? In terms of like thinking about how it would be the right side up. And part of it is like, you know, I think if we didn't have this middle part, right, we probably could turn it every which way. But for whatever reason, right, it kind of, I don't know, for me, it works better this way. Um, in terms of just like the look and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. This has been fun. So in terms of like new stuff, this will be the last video I do. <coughs> but what I realized is, um, but what I'm going to start to do is go back and actually fill out the videos for the stuff we did with the Zentangles. Um, mainly because I realized, you know, initially it was supposed to be just kind of quick. I start, you finish. But I think kind of just seeing how they kind of progress. You know, for some people, right, it might be helpful. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to start doing for now. I'm just going to go back in. So there will be new videos, just no new patterns or designs. But again, like I said, if you want anything new in that respect, um, you can always just Google Zentangles, you know, free. And there's tons and tons of patterns out there. And also really cool stencils you can use if you don't want to, like, make your own. Um, but, yeah, like you kind of see, right, you know, this is my work notebook. And so, like, every sheet, it's like I've got my drawings for you guys, my notes for work, other stuff I work with other kiddos on. So this is just something you can do in your notebooks, right? Kind of how can we transform a blank sheet of paper, right? We can use words, but we can also create images, right? So I just want you guys to realize that. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much.